Hello and welcome to the Breakthrough Clean University video series. I'm Gabriel Cabrera and I'm the Marketing Director for Breakthrough Clean and with me today is Jerry Nova from Novo Arms. How's it going Jerry? How you doing? In today's video we will show you how to properly disassemble, clean and maintain your AR-15 platform. Okay, before we go any further we'd like to remind everybody about the safety rules. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Always make sure the firearm is unloaded Always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. As always, safety is always our number one concern, so you want to pull the charge handle back, make sure there's no live rounds or any type of ammunition in the room while you're cleaning your rifle. Okay, we make sure it's clear. Next thing, we're going to take apart the upper from the lower assembly, and you're going to knock these pins out. Now, if the pins, for some reason, are really tight fit because you have a tight fit between the upper and lower, you could buy these little handy tools from Brownells and they just pop the pin right out. Since they're made out of plastic, you really don't have to worry about it marring the surfaces of your rifle that much. So what we've done, we've taken it apart into three basic food groups, right? And that's what we're going to focus on. Uh, we're going to focus on the upper first, but then the other food group uh, is the lower. We're going to go into the cleaning and maintenance on that and the bolt and carrier group. All right, uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean the inside of uh, this upper first before we get into the bore. There's a couple different schools of thought. Well, what we're gonna do here is use our 16 ounce spray and we're gonna unlock it. We're gonna spray in there. Notice how there's a big fine mist. A little goes a long way with this product, so. So you can get in there, Jerry, I'll hold the, uh, the upper for you. You can kind of see, especially with the, uh, the finish on this uh, upper compared to other ones, you can see the difference when it starts breaking down the carbon. Um, there's some tight spots to get into. That's why we provide that, uh, that mil spec brush with most of our kits. Smaller end. Exactly. Kit we're using today is the ammo can cleaning kit. So you're going to see a lot of that hard work put to use today um, that you usually don't see with the smaller kits that we have. So one of the little tricks that you could do that helps us, uh, if you really need to get in there, I grab the small tip portion of the, um, of the cleaning brush and I grab the microfiber cloth that we provide with all the kits and I can get in there and I can clean the track where the charging handle runs through if you want to get most of that gunk out around the gas tube as well kind of get in there and you can see everything I just pulled out right now now traditionally you'd be pulling cotton swabs and you know spending a lot of money on cotton swabs this is a clean and reusable, uh, reusable microfiber cloth and then you just kind of clean the rest of the upper wherever you see and it's not going to leave the gun full of lint like some other cloths do so that is a good point you can see how clean it is now compared to how it was before now if we're going to clean the barrel now is when we go caliber specific and we're using the breakthrough ammo can cleaning kit little uh, tackle box there with all the hardware so we're going to pull some of the rods. Now you're going to notice these rods are a little different. These are all the same and this one's different. It's got the swivel. Well, that's what you want to use on the handle. What I'm going to do is we can wet a patch. We can do it, you know, to where you're wasting about 20 patches. I like to do things a little quicker, especially for a, a carbine like this. So I'm just going to spray a good amount into the chamber. It's not going to do anything. Remember our solvent is pH neutral. Okay. So you're going to see some of this stuff kind of bleed out here towards the bottom. You see, it's already kind of coming out, bleeding into the cloth. All right. So we ran it through three times. Rule of thumb, uh, two or three. Now what we're going to do is put a patch on. And the good thing about the ammo can kit, if you're in doubt, just look at the little jigs. They'll actually have a number on them, which is the caliber that they're they're rated for. And if you ever have a fear that you lost one of the uh, pieces in the kit, we've already taken the liberty of putting every content that's in there on the outside on a sticker. All right, guys, we're done cleaning our, uh, our barrel. You're going to notice here for reference, this was the first one that we wet and we, uh, we threw in once, once for each side. Then we went in dry with this one, one for each side, and here's a clean one for reference. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna let this upper dry. When it dries, we're gonna show you how to lube it. 
Our upper is clean for all intents and purposes. What we're gonna do now is lubricate it. And seeing how it's a carbine, and we're probably gonna run it pretty fast and, and hot, we're gonna use our HP Pro oil. Now there's only certain contact points that need lubrication. You're absolutely right, internet person. But what we've done with our HP Pro, it's a little bit thicker, so not only can our oil go from minus 65 to 507, but it almost becomes a CLP style oil. What does that mean? We still don't support the idea of a CLP, right? You can't do both at the same time. But it makes it a little bit easier. What did you guys see us do today? You saw us clean, right? So we still cleaned. But when we apply this oil, right now I just put a layer, all right? By the time that the supper is done, this layer would have been soaked up and I put another layer on top of that. What you're doing is you're creating an artificial second layer. And what you do, if you ever needed to do a quick in the field clean, you break out your cloth, you wipe it dry, and then you apply more oil. Less time cleaning, more time shooting, right? All right, guys, we have our second layer already on our charging handle, so we're gonna put it into our clean upper. So, Jerry, you wanna... You wanna make sure there's a little notch and there's these two little cutouts here that when you put the charge handle back in, you wanna make sure it goes into that notch. Don't try to beat it into there. If you're unsure, just slide it out how Gabe just did, and it should fall right into place. So guys, uh, that's how you clean your upper receiver, clean and maintain your upper receiver. Uh, stay tuned for our video on the Bolton Carrier Group and little receiver. Once again, thank you for joining us. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And for any other questions, go to www.breakthroughclean.com. Take care.